Hi, and welcome back to another episode of the 97070 Show. I'm your host, Peyton. Juniors, remember to sign up for small group meetings with your counselors. The link should be in your school email. This past week, Brian took us along on his trip to Arizona. Over to you, Brian. Thanks, Peyton. So yeah, this week we got a fun opportunity to kind of change up the scenery and go visit Arizona. We were located just outside of Tempe and Phoenix and uh, in the Chandler and Gilbert area. And uh, then we took one day to go and explore the South Mountain Preserve, which I'll get into more later. But we went up with my cousin Chris, my mom, and a good family friend. So here are some pictures and videos. I'm telling you, it's more than just the airport. So stay tuned, we'll get there in a minute. Thanks for watching. We're just out here like Bear Grylls, middle of the valley, Arizona. We got Jack, a Wilsonville alumni. What's up? What's up? Yes, sir. He's at Arizona State. He's a sophomore. We got my cuz. We got Chris here. We got my mom, too. Here we go. We're coming up the hill, and uh, we'll keep you guys updated. Yes. South Mountain Preserve is one that's unique to Arizona in the, fa in the sense that uh, actually it's the largest city park in the country. And so it's nestled right outside of Phoenix and Tempe area. And uh, there's actually quite a few things going on for it. So we'll take you along our journey and uh, call it good. So here we are. Uh, we've climbed the mountain right here. And uh, we're sitting at the top. We're uh, pretty gassed. Jack, what would you say about this one so far? About a 7 out of 10 guess. Chris, what are we thinking right now? Well, it's pretty easy, not gonna lie. Mom, where are we at? It's good, made my day. Mm. <laughs> and uh, it reminds me of uh, being in the gym, which we haven't been able to do back at home for, you know, 10 or 11 months or something. And uh, here's a good look at the valley right here. So you got the airport over there, center of Tempe. And uh, then as you look this way, you got tried and true Phoenix over there. So. Uh, We'll, you know, continue up this ridge here and uh, go uh, get after some wild hogs and we'll let you guys know how that goes. In each video I called it the top of the hill, it never was. So here we continue on. Hey everybody, so uh, we're checking in with you guys at the top of the hill here. We got the cuz Chris over there, we got my mom right here. And then we got we got Arizona State sophomore Jack Gatto yes, who uh, is making big moves out in the desert here. <laughs> Okay, so uh, right there? we're, uh, you know, right we're about 15 minutes in. How are we feeling, Jack? I feel good, you know, exercise. Most important thing of the day. Make sure you get your exercise in. There's 10 jumping jacks. Yes, Nine sir. So uh, I think, I, think uh, I wanted to ask you about something like, this trail kind of has had us in the first half, but how are we oh, going to yeah. respond in the second half? I'm not going to lie, it has in the first half, but, you know, it's going to get better. It will get better. We're going to end up up there, no more falling. maybe over there, and uh, we'll uh, check in with you guys in maybe 10 more minutes or something. Okay, so here we are. We're about 45 minutes in. You think we've reached the top of the hill, but we haven't. We still got a while to go. We're going to get up over there, if you guys see where I'm pointing at. And uh, but this is a pretty cool view of Tempe right here. So check that one out, and uh, that's pretty good, actually. There's the airport over there. The center of Arizona State is right over there. And uh, we're out here enjoying. So uh, stay tuned, y'all. Okay, so I just wanted to wrap up the video by saying we flew home yesterday uh, for the start of quarter three at school today. So hope you guys uh, start the quarter strong and uh, continue on that way. So we'll uh, check in soon, but thanks for watching. Thanks, Brian. The newest edition of the paw print is now available online. Make sure to click the link in our description or in your school email to check out what 17 students have been working on this past quarter. Comment down below if your activity was covered. Gus interviewed Colby on how his quarter has gone so far. Over to you, Gus. Hey, 97070 Show. Uh, this is your co-host, Gus Erickson. We have a special segment today. As you know, in previous years, uh, a lot of times the 97070 Show would go around the school and ask students questions. And obviously, as we can't do that this year, we're going to do a Zoom-style interview. So we're here with Colby Gunther. Colby, say what's up. Yo, what's up? Uh, Colby is a senior at Wilsonville, and then we're just going to ask him some questions about the school year and get into kind of a normal interview like like we would have done in previous years. So 
first question, Kobe, how has this quarter been for you? Uh, I think it's been as good as it can be. I think we've been dealt a really bad hand of cards for just this entire school year, but I think our teachers have adapted and uh, done online learning the best that they can. Uh, I think it's just an overall bad situation, but I think we've uh, made light out of it, so it's pretty good. Yeah, how do you how do you feel about online school in general? Do you think that uh, – what's a pros and cons to in-person school? Um, in-person school, definitely there's a, there's a lack of social interaction that I'm missing, and I really like just being in school. Even if it was just like you're not talking to people, you're, you're seeing and hearing and communicating with people, and I feel like that's the main situation. Uh, also, the accountability, I feel like you have to be really on top of it by yourself. I struggle with that, and I think that it's um, kind of difficult in that situation. I do miss on my, like, real school. I never thought I'd say that, but I do miss real yeah, school. Yeah, definitely. Over. I think that's a big part of it is that when you're online, like, if you get work assigned, there's no one there to tell you to do it. You know, you got to exactly. kind of get on it yourself. So, on that note, how are you preparing for finals this week, or do you have finals this week? Um, finals this week, I feel like majority of the things, I feel like a lot of people have strayed away from tests and things of that nature. Um, but this semester, I have a graphic design class, a financial algebra, and a discrete math class. So I don't really have that hard of a schedule. But with that, all of those are final project based. Um, and to both my math classes, it's just a final project. And then in my, uh, in my graphic design class, it's just business as normal. We send in a, a project a day and it's just rolling with it. So. Yeah, I, I'm the same way. And I think that definitely with online school, the project-based final is a lot better because it's hard to, like, it, actual exams are super hard to take online. And I know that teachers probably have a hard time monitoring integrity, definitely, especially for something. Definitely. Like so getting uh, a final project that you have to do yourself is definitely the way to go. Definitely. I notice a lot of teachers are countering the, with cheating on tests because that's kind of a hard thing, accountability. They've uh, started we're doing more group assignments just because they know that we're going to be talking in groups. So we just make them group tests. And I've noticed that's been received well by everybody. Yeah, no, I definitely think that's far. And uh, next quarter, what's the slate looking like for you? Next quarter is actually, I probably have the weirdest schedule out of anybody at our school next quarter. So late, I, uh, I took summer school over my freshman and sophomore year so I could have a really fun senior year in theory and then COVID it. So basically all I have is electives. So I next semester have a late arrival. So school doesn't start till 1030. And then my next period is uh, work study. So I just go to work um, in the mornings and get credit for it. And then I go to just a one English class a day and that's it. So now the, the work experience, you can just go to your job and then mm -hmm. that's great. So I just go to, I just go to work. I have to go to work at least three times a week and then just get credit for it. I have to write a paper at the end of it. But oh, okay. So that's kind of what the school aspect is in a paper about it. Mm -hmm. Basically I have to just get things signed off and it's more of a, it's just, they have it as an elective credit and it's like a mixture, I guess, of PE and just work experience. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I think that's a good system that the school offers because it allows kids to work and not have to miss out on school credit, which happens a lot of time. Definitely. So next, how about you? What's your next quarter look like? So this quarter I had similar to what you have next quarter, all electives. So this quarter I had English, um, global issues in journalism. So next quarter, I'm back kind of into the ringer. I have um, AP Econ, Spanish three, and Calc. So Oof. that's that's definitely going to be rough. Yeah, it's it's kind of uh, it, it's pros and cons because this uh, quarter, you know, I kind of like have a lot of good classes. So I kind of have all the hard ones at once and all the easier ones at once, which it is what it is. Yeah. Um, so what do you think about going back to school? Do you think that that's going to happen? And what do you think that's going to look like? Um, I don't, the, what I think it'll look like is I have no clue. Um, do I think it'll happen is a maybe, I think that quarter four, I have high hopes for quarter three. I'm not really up in the, I'm up in the air on that. Um, I feel reassured that we are going back to school considering we're going back to sports. Um, I feel like sports is going to be a really good segue into it. Um, I'm curious on how we're going to do our school's capacity. Cause I know that each classroom only can support like 15 kids mm -hmm. and I know well as you do that we are going to have 30 in each class, but like, how are we going to do that? So I could see a hybrid situation where we go to school every other day and do online for those every other day situations. I, I think that would be a good mix because, you know, a lot of people, it's going to be hard to go to school with uh, like a lot of restrictions. Like you probably won't be able to talk to your friends, socialize, go to lunch, things like that, even if yeah. you're in school. So I think hybrid would be a good system because as we talked about earlier, online school, you lose all that structure, like to get work done. So if we went hybrid, you could go to school, have a teacher, you know, keeping on track and stuff like that. But you could also get the online aspect. 
The thing, the questions I have about hybrid though, are when we're live streaming classes, are we even allowed to live stream a class to kids? Like, are we allowed to be on zoom? It makes, it makes sense when, cause we can turn our cameras off on zoom. So there's no struggle there. But if a kid's in the classroom while an adult is teaching, I feel like there's going to be restrictions about kids being yeah, in the actually, frame. That's, that's a good point. Yeah. Well, uh, well filming. Cause there's a no, no film policy in schools typically mm -hmm. where you can't live stream or take photos of children. Yeah. So I'm ex excited to see and, uh, what they do with that. Yeah. Maybe just keep the camera on the teacher or whatever. So. All right. Well, thanks for chatting with me. Cool. We, uh, nine, seven, oh, seven, oh, show. I'll see you soon. All right. Thanks Gus. Hey, Wildcats. I'm sure you know that we're planning to come back to school in person on March 15th. WBN will be providing lots of information on our website to help you prepare for the return to school in March. If you have any questions on the plan, ask us through our comments and our Instagram. Thanks for watching. Make sure to tune in next week and stay classy Wildcats.